Hello, I'm Dr. Shazia, and I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist. I've had the pleasure of working in women's health for over 30 years now. And as the mother of two teenage daughters, I'm really keen to help spread knowledge about periods and period products. I'm here with Initial Washroom Hygiene to help you with some simple tips on how to use the most common products you may use when you're on your period. Period pads, tampons, and period underwear. Period pads have a sticky strip along the bottom, which is stuck to the gusset of your underwear like so. Simply peel the paper strip that covers the adhesive and press firmly into the underwear if it has wings, wrap these around the sides of your underwear to keep these in place. You should aim to change your pad at least every three to four hours to prevent odours or a build-up of bacteria. But you might need to change more regularly depending on your flow. You should be able to feel when it's time to change as the pad will start to feel bulky. To remove a pad, all you need to do is peel it from your underwear and wrap it in toilet paper or your period pad wrapper or a disposable bag. Then make sure to put it into the period waste bin in the toilet cubicle or a general waste bin in the bathroom. Remember, used period pads cannot be flushed down the toilet. You can also get reusable period pads. These are worn in the same way as disposable period pads, but can be washed and reused. This one has a popper fastening and is attached to the crotch of your underwear like so. If you're out and about, pop your pad into a compostable bag so you can safely carry it home. People who use reusable period pads or underwear often find it useful to have a container with a lid in their bathroom for storing items until they're ready to be washed. Just make sure not to use fabric conditioner as this can alter the effectiveness of the pads and also they can't go in the dryer. You need to air dry them and remember they can take longer to dry than normal panties. Tampons are also a popular choice as they are worn internally and can be a great option when swimming or taking part in sports. It can take a bit of practice and patience to get used to inserting them. And tampon packs will often come with a useful instruction leaflet. Let me talk you through it. To properly insert a tampon, first make sure to wash your hands. Find a comfortable position that lets you relax your pelvic floor muscles and still helps you reach your vagina, such as sitting on the toilet, squatting down, or standing whilst putting a foot on the toilet and slightly squatting. Next, hold the tampon at the grip, just above the plunger, and place the tip of the tampon applicator at the opening of your vagina. Once the tip is in place, aim the tampon towards your lower back, so not straight up and not straight back either, about a 45 degree angle. Slowly insert the tampon applicator from the tip all the way to the grip so that your fingers are touching your vaginal opening. It's now time to use your index finger on your other hand or your thumb on this hand if you find it comfortable to push the plunger all the way into the applicator and release the tampon into your vagina. After you've pushed the plunger in all the way, pull the applicator out. To properly remove a tampon, gently pull on the string whilst in a comfortable position over the toilet, similar to the position you use to insert your tampon. Once the tampon has been removed, make sure you dispose of it responsibly in the same way that you would a used period pad. Tampons don't break down the same way as toilet paper does, so please don't be tempted to flush them down the loo. Period underwear is also an option you might choose to use. These come in a range of absorbencies to suit different needs throughout your menstrual cycle. They look just like any of your other underwear options, but contain absorbent layers, perfect for wearing during your period. Depending on how heavy your flow is, there are different options to choose from and they can be worn for up to 12 hours at a time. When you take off your period underwear, rinse it under the cold tap until the water runs clear. They can either be hand washed or put in the washing machine on a low temperature wash for at least an hour. 
You can pop them in with your other laundry with mild detergent at 40 degrees or 30 degrees ideally on a mild cycle. However, be sure to avoid fabric conditioners as these can affect how well your period underwear works and indeed how long they last. Remember, there's no shame in not knowing how to use period products. And if you're still unsure after watching this video, then ask a trusted friend as I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help. There are also other products that you might choose to use in the future, such as menstrual cups. Again, like period underwear and reusable pads, these are a sustainable option and they can be reused time and time again. Research has shown that a quarter of girls have used the wrong product for them because of a lack of knowledge, which is not their fault, around what's available and how to use it. If you know someone else who could use this guide to finding the right period product for them, be a great friend and send this to them. It will all become a lot less confusing and definitely a lot less daunting.